Hey folks, it's Teresa Stringfield Ridge Farm. Um, this morning I am in the kitchen about to make my kraut. Um, I have made kraut several times before. We have videos on those. Um, I made just regular kraut with cabbage and salt. But recently we went to Higgs Rock Farm and he fed us a kraut that I had never had before. But his kraut had caraway seeds and he fed it to us cold. I'd never had cold kraut before. Um, so I was kind of, when he first, uh, you know, offered it to me, I was kind of, hmm, but uh, it was delicious, absolutely delicious. So since then, I have tried my kraut, which is just regular kraut with cabbage, you know, made with cabbage and salt, and I tried it cold and it was good too. But uh, something about the kraut he had, and I'm thinking it had to be the caraway seeds, um, was really good, just uh, left me wanting more. So I have decided to get the recipe from him and, uh, and make it. And I already started on it because I wasn't thinking about videotaping it until I'd already started cutting up my cabbage. And uh, so we're gonna go right into that and show you uh, also, uh, besides the caraway seeds, uh, Higgs uses Celtic salt. I don't have Celtic salt, so I am going to use pink Himalayan salt. So I've already got some of my cabbage cut up. And I'm going to finish this up and just show you real quick what I do. A lot of people shred theirs up really well. And I don't because I like mine um, chunkier. So, I'm going to make mine a little chunkier than most people would. I do the same thing with soups and um, um, stews and soups and anything like that. I like it chunky. Okay, so here we go. I had to get a bigger bowl out because that was a huge head of cabbage. Um, so I had to get out the big bowl. This is the uh, big uh, stainless steel bowl that I won from being a homestead homie on Doug and Stacy's channel. Uh, that was back in April of last year. Their recipe calls for a medium head of cabbage and this was a very large head of cabbage. So I am going to bump up their recipe a little bit but i will give you their recipe and then i will add a little extra to mine so their recipe calls for a medium head of cabbage and uh, a tablespoon and a half of the celtic sea salt i'm using pink himalayan now um with clean hands i'm gonna mix this up and get that salt all mixed throughout that cabbage. And then I'll do the same with my caraway seeds. And the caraway seeds, it calls for one tablespoon, and I believe I'll use two. So I'm gonna double that because I really liked the flavor of the caraway seeds in there. And um, so just keep mixing that until you get that salt completely mixed through that cabbage. And it will make its own juice. As that salt breaks that down, it will make its own juice. Um, so kraut or any fermented food is very good for your gut health. Uh, and if you don't know about fermented foods, you need to find out because they are good. Uh, there's kimchi and kombucha is a drink that is good for gut health. Um, there's different things. Anyway, check into fermented foods and uh, it will really help your, your health in general. But gut health, which is a very main priority of health. Um, okay, Mr. Higgs and Lily's um, recipe calls for one tablespoon of the caraway seeds. I'm going to use two. And um, 
Miss Lily said that you should do it according to taste. So when I mix this really well, then I may taste of it and see if I maybe want more caraway seeds. But she said to taste. Uh, use your own judgment. So I'm going to mix this really good and then taste of it. And who knows, I may add a little more. Those seeds. I don't think I'm going to need any more because I can smell it really good. And it is, um, <clears throat> it is coating in there good. Put this in my big jar that I make kraut in. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, but I will put this in there and weight it down and put it in a dark corner. All right, so here we go. We've got uh, two uh, half gallon uh, canning jars and I am going to fill them up with this um, kraut mixture here with this cabbage that has already really started breaking down. So there's a lot of juice in the bottom of this bowl. I'm going to pour some over these when I get done filling these up. I'll pour that juice in there. There we go. All right. Now we will take our handy dandy kraut stomper that we got from Nathan at Samson Farms and we will stomp this all down good in here. And then I will put a weight on top and weight that down. I could almost get that in one jar, but I'm not going to try it. I'm going to go ahead and go with it like I got it, but I almost could have got that in one jar. It really broke down. Now what you want to happen is, you want this to juice up well and get plenty of juice up on the uh, cabbage. And you want to weight that down so that you can keep your cabbage under your juice and let that set for six to eight weeks. Um, and then you can put it in smaller jars or you can put these in the refrigerator and uh, use them as you go. Um, I do, I'm, and I may do that since I don't have a lot of refrigerator space. And um, so I could break it down into uh, pint jars, but there's not gonna be a whole lot of it. It really has broken down a lot, um, but uh, I could put that over in pint jars so that I could take them to work with me. Um, but I will probably just put these in the refrigerator. This won't last me long. And, um, I'll just dip out of it as needed. And if I'm going to take it to work, I'll dip out and take a little bow full to work. Uh, but this much will not last me a long time. So I'm just going to put it in the refrigerator and not worry with canning it because in the refrigerator, it can last uh, quite a while, um, six months or so, but I, I watched a video where um, a lady was talking about that she had put hers in the refrigerator and it lasted a year. So, I'm going to say, I'm going to have this ate up before six months. So, when we dug up our big jar over here, we had it pretty full and had used nine cabbages and so uh i can't remember how many pints that made i have a whole i have several left still uh but um i canned them like i said you don't get as much um of the um, benefits the health benefits when you do that so these will be in the refrigerator be lots of health benefits i'll be eating them cold like we did at Higgs Rock Farm. I'm gonna stomp these a little more and weight them down and put a uh, cheesecloth over the top. Okay, so folks, I ended up getting that down to one jar. I decided to go ahead, the more I tamped with my uh, 
Kraut Stomper. The lower in the jar it got, I thought, oh, I'm just going to go ahead and swap that over to one jar. So, there you go. There's the one jar. That, uh, yeah, that large head of cabbage came down to a half gallon uh, jar. So, the more I tamped on that and the juicier it got, it really got down there. <clears throat> As you can see now I'm trying to push all that down in there good then I'm gonna take my little cabbage leaf and put on top of that and my weight and now the weight doesn't even fit all the way down in there but that's good it'll it's weighted enough that it's got the juice all the way up now it uh, it really juiced well and got the juice all the way up to here now so there you go we got that put my cheesecloth back on there with my rubber band and there we go now that is ready to go in my corner for six weeks and by that time I may need to make some more <laughs> so uh, y'all be sure and give us a um, thumbs up comment and subscribe to our channel if you're not also you can watch us on Friday nights live at 8 p.m. Central Time.